So, um, I was still telling you about the organization of your papers. It is very, very important to organize your papers. And how do you organize those papers? Make sure that these papers you are organizing are in, are in a correct, proper way. When I mean that, when they say you need to have a national ID, please put it there. And don't go to the embassy without these documents. And never miss any document. Let it be a pay slip. Never miss anything like a pay slip. Never miss anything like your national ID. Because at the embassy, they look at your organization. Okay? So, I have been receiving a lot of questions uh, actually today. That how can I cross to Europe? I want to visit Europe. Not cross, like staying here, but how can I visit Europe? You can visit Europe through a conference visa. It is the easiest way. Visit visas, visit visas, guys. Today I, I educated you about visit visas. Visit visas, it is hard, by the limited, it is hard to get a visit visa. Not so hard, but you need to have someone who has a good heart. What do I mean a good heart? Most people, they, they fear to invite people because they know when they invite you, you may not go back. And when you don't go back, it means you become, you become a burden. You go on the file of that person who invited you. Okay? And there are many requirements for someone to invite a, a, a person, maybe from a developing countries. When I talk about developing countries, I talk about Thailand, I talk about those, those developing, developing countries, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, um, Ghana, those all countries are developing countries. Okay? So, it is really hard to get someone like me here. If you tell me that you invite me, I, I will, what I would do I will just invite you and I will not give you all the documents. Today, someone asked me what are the requirements for someone to invite, to, to give you an invitation. What are requirements? I explained it very, very well. When you need a, require, a requirement, some, some people, you be there and you even get annoyed of your sisters and cousins, brothers and brothers and aunties and what and what. That, you, you know, my auntie is in America, has been in America. He has never called me, has never invited me, has never done what? Yes. Do you know why that person has never invited you? Now I'm going to explain to you what it needs, what it, it, and what it entails for someone to invite someone from a developing country. Guys, I don't think I've seen someone explaining these things, but let me be maybe number one. Or oh, if there's someone there, let me also be part of them. To get a visa to America, to Canada, to Europe, to UK, to, to Australia, there are like five countries. They, all of them, they communicate, they understand the same language. They have the same language, guys. Let me tell you this. So what do you need? The person who is inviting you, the person who is inviting you, must have the following requirements. Following requirements. Which most people here in Europe, they don't meet. Or in America. You must be earning enough to the extent that you who is going to be invited, you need also to be planned. Because they don't want you to come here and then you become a burden to the government or to that person who is inviting you. See, these are children. You see, these are children that from playing football, now they have come to, to, to have exercise, you see. So, guys, who does not want to have children like this one? That there is a pitch there from playing football. They came here to, just to enjoy. So, that's something that you need to come and, and see by yourself. So, I was still telling you, someone who is inviting you or the host must have the following, okay? What should that person have? Must, for example, have um, 
a, an, enough income. He should have enough income. What do I mean? There is a way how they calculate this income. I'm going to use euros because I live in a country that uses euro, euros. Okay? So, how do they calculate this income? Because you guys, you be there and you get annoyed of your, of your friends, your cousins and all that, that they don't want to invite you. And someone will never tell you that, my dear, I don't earn enough. Because there is a, that, that, that pride that they attach to themselves. Okay? So, someone to invite you must be, if he has children, for example, four children. No? Okay? If someone has four children, it means each child must be having 150 euro. That is like 180 dollars. Each child must, 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 that person must have, must reserve 150 or 180 dollars per each child. So we assume that he has three children. Okay? Like me now, I have three children. If I'm to invite someone, let me take you through this. Let me give myself an example. I have three children. If I'm to invite someone, I need to reserve 100, 150, 150 for three children. That is 450 euros. Okay? I, I myself, I need 1,000 euros for my, expose, my disposal income. Okay? What I'll spend on. When you, 1,000 plus 450 is for uh, 1450 okay i need i need to do what to prepare 600 euros for the person i'm inviting okay so that is 1000 i mean 2050 euros most people in europe they don't earn that money most people most people, actually, most people, they earn more than that, but it is not official. Some you find, for example, if someone is in Canada, you find that he has an official job that gives him maybe $1,700, but he earns maybe 2000 from black or from Cheyo, from black. When I mean black, you go, it is not official. So... The, the embassy looks at only the money, money for official. It means if someone is earning, for example, 1,700 and he earns another, another 2,000, that is 3,000, uh, that is 3,700 from black, 2,000 from black. The embassy will take only 1,700. It means that person does not qualify. And even if that person has buildings and buildings, eh? apartments as he's renting and he's getting maybe a hundred or two hundred thousand from rent that person also do not qualify to invite because that money is not official today buildings can be taken by bank here people own buildings but through the banks so a bank can can take it or anyone i mean a, a fire can can get it and it will be ashes so they need an income from the a, an employee I mean, from an employer. Yeah, that you are an employee and you need that income. So, on top of that, what else, after proving that that person, if that person earns that money, okay, he has three children, he has 450, he has 1,000 for himself, and he has maybe um, um, 1,600 for you. That income is not meant to be joined with a wife like me. I'm married. I'm officially married. I'm married, okay? So, my income, we cannot join income, me and my wife. And we say, ah, let's call, for example, pretty girl or Brian or, you know, we call Brian or we call, for example, uh, who? Uh, Jaja. Yeah? Jaja. Jaja. Jaja who? Yeah. You know, let me call this one. Just we add our income and we call one person from Uganda. We call our we call our, our cousin. It is not allowed. The income must be from one person. If it is a woman inviting, must be a woman. Otherwise, if I join my income with my wife, it is a lot. I could join. I could invite even maybe three, four people to come and visit me. But because of of the law, one person in the family can invite. 
So you find that it is not possible. So invitation, invitation sometimes is hard and you people stop getting annoyed of your cousins and of your sisters and your brothers and aunties because they do not invite you. It is a little bit hard. The easiest way to visit Europe is through a conference. And I will try to emphasize conferences. Because I know a lot of people have come through conferences and they have gone back. And when you come to Europe, please try to go back. <laughs> try to go back. Huh? Try to go back and show these people that other people, they can come. <laughs> hey, show them that other people can come. But if you come here and you stay, you come here and you stay, you come here and you stay, then you will not do what? You not uh, like people will be like ah no no more bringing Ugandans here, so come do what you want to do go back, okay? A conference is so easy. I will emphasize on it. So next time today, as I, as I promised you guys that I post something. This is my first video about this. Sorry about the quality. Sorry about the what because I promise me when I promise I always want to to deliver. Today I promised you that I'll, I'll bring something for you today evening. Actually, I'm taking it the way it is. It is going to be a low video. I'm going to post it the way it is. So, guys, try to spread love. Try to share my, my this because a lot of people want this information. A lot of people spend a lot of money. You even fake people and they cheat them. So, for me, I'm here to change your mentality, to make sure that you can do it. You don't need any connector. You need you don't need you do not need any connector. And I will just encourage you to stop things like how much do I inject? How much do I inject? What type of jobs are there? If you are coming to Europe, America, Canada, don't think about jobs. Get there, the jobs will follow you. Jobs here, people look for jobs are everywhere. So America, jobs are everywhere. Canada, jobs are everywhere. And when you get here, you can even do better. How? You can start education. Even if you are limited, even if you didn't finish primary seven in back home, you can become a doctor, a, 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 an engineer here. Electrical engineer, you can become a, a logistician, you can become anything. Because here, it is easy. Education is free. They will give you free education. So today... Let me stop here. Next time, I'll bring another topic. What I'm requesting you, for you to thank me, just subscribe on my video and make me be motivated. Because the more I see people subscribing, then I'll know that ah, people love what I'm doing. Then I'll, I'll come and I'll start showing you everything. This is my first video. I cannot say everything. There are a lot of things here. Okay? So, and I'll be recording these videos from different places i go to brussels i show you how brussels brussels look like i'll start bringing you people who have made it here who were like you and they're here and they're doing good so i'll start like bringing a lot of things but the only thing you can do the only thing i can request you guys just subscribe to my channel spread the news you can post my my, my video on youtube on youtube i mean on you on TikTok, you can post it. You can post it, you know, on on what on on your Facebook pages for other people to see. That's why I'm not using local language. I need people to change. I need to change people's minds. I need people to stop. Be, I, I I don't I don't want I don't I I feel bad when someone makes his money maybe two thousand dollars and he gives it to someone and they cheat his money. They eat his money. So when you share my video, then you save that person. You, 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 you save a friend from being cheated. Okay? So for now, thank you so much. I love you all. Guys, I love you so much. I love people who are always with me on, on TikTok, who support me, guys. Brian, big up. Um, Last Born, one mommy, big up. Um, um, there is a lady called Iluk. Big up, guys. Find those people. There is Akram. Big up. So, guys, there is Nasozi. Big up. Uh, Justin. So, guys, I have too many friends. I cannot thank all of them. All of you guys who are already there, please 
let me know you in person okay let me know you in person and how do i know you you know where we meet guys okay so you know let's spread love thank you so much i love you